Hi everybody, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Casey and I'm a stay at home mom living here in Texas. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing some Christmas gift wrapping. I don't know about you guys, but it is that time of year. I feel like it's crunch time with all of the Christmas wrapping, Christmas activities, all the fun stuff. I'm so grateful for it, but it is a lot. So I thought it would be fun for you guys to finally get to know me a little better. I think this is my 11th, or I think it's my 11th video. And so I thought, you know what? It's time to maybe share a little bit more about me. So in this video, we are going to be, oh goodness, I just hit the light up there. <laughs> We're gonna be doing some wrapping. We're gonna be doing some coffee drinking and some chatting, getting to know each other. And we're gonna have fun, and you guys are gonna watch me do the whole thing. So go ahead and sit back and listen. I'm not going to talk through the video as I'm wrapping. I'm going to do a voiceover, just because I think the quality of the audio would be a lot better. So I'm gonna tell you some fun facts about myself. So, okay guys, well let's have fun. Let's do this, let's wrap. I'm gonna show you what I'm using, and I'll show you what I'm wrapping. Oh. By the way, if you are my younger sister, you need to stop watching and don't watch this video because your gift is in this video and you can see it. So don't watch. I'm gonna give you two minutes, two seconds to click out now. Have you clicked out? Okay, all right. Okay guys, let's get wrapping. So in today's video, I'm gonna be wrapping about six gifts, I think. Um, here's the wrapping paper that I have. Can you tell I kind of have a theme? I like that brown paper. And um, gotta have the essentials, you know. And then here's my bucket of ribbon. So I'm gonna have a little bit of tulle, a little bit of satin, a little bit of wired ribbon. So just a few different little types. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with our first gift. And don't worry, I, I know who they're for. I wrote their names on the boxes so that you wouldn't see me wrapping the actual gift because then it would be spoiled for the person who's getting this gift come Christmas morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on into the little fun facts about myself. So I grew up all over the place. I'm a military brat and um, I spent a majority of my childhood growing up in the Middle East in um, a city called Abu Dhabi. I'm sure many people have heard it or you've heard of Dubai at least because that's kind of the city that's kind of blown up and what everybody hears about. But I lived in Abu Dhabi for a very long time and I graduated high school there. And it was so much fun. I loved living there. I loved going back to visit. It was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so I grew up there, but I did live other places in the States. I'm from Texas. And I also went to school here. I went to college at Texas State University in San Marcos. And I have a degree in child development. Um, that was kind of the path I thought I was gonna go on. I, did some preschool teaching and I did a lot of work in daycares and um, working with kids. I was a nanny for a while and I enjoyed it, but I still feel like, or I felt like there was some sort of other creative outlet I wanted. I, I enjoy working with kids. I love kids. I knew I always wanted to be a mom, but I am loving this YouTube video making. I feel like it's so much fun. It's so creative for me to just kind of edit and play with it. I hope you all enjoy the music I choose and, and what I, I put a lot of thought into it. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I really do enjoy it. I have fun with it. Um, I also love Christmas, if you couldn't tell. You know, I used to think that I was pretty Christmas crazy until I've seen other people here on YouTube and I thought, you know what, I'm actually pretty toned down for the most part when it comes to Christmas decor. Um, but I do love Christmas music and everybody in my family knows that I'm like crazy Casey listening to Christmas music in July. But you know what, 
you do what brings you joy and Christmas music brings me joy. <laughs> so I listen to it all the time, year round. I maybe take a few months off here and there, but I always come back to it. It's one of my favorite things. So making all these Christmas videos here on YouTube, um, I've had a lot of fun with. And I've also incorporated some things I haven't done before, like my hot cocoa bar. I've never done that, but I love it. Um, so that was fun. We did that. But yeah, I'm just enjoying it. I'm having a good time doing all of this. And I thought, you know, this video would be kind of fun to just kind of chat with y'all and, you know, let you guys know a little bit more about me. So my husband and I um, met each other online, you know, because that's normal nowadays. Everybody just kind of, you know, you date people online, you meet people online. So many people meet their spouses. I did. So I will say I went on a lot of horrible dates, but once I met my husband, there were no more dates after that. It was just, it was just him. And so it was great. And we will be celebrating our eight year anniversary come this December. Uh, going back to the fact that I do love Christmas, our wedding, um, we got married just a few days after Christmas. <laughs> so it was fun. That's also why we had a hot cocoa bar at our wedding. Because why not? You know what? Why not? So yeah, so we met online and we dated, got engaged, got married, and then, hello, we found out we were having a baby. And so we have two little girls. Um, Ellie is six, about to be seven, and Caroline is three. And they are fun, and they are spunky and silly, and it's, it's a whole lot of fun being their mom. So those are my girls, and I come from a huge family. So I have five sisters and one brother. You heard that right five sisters and one brother, and I would not have it any other way. It is the most fun. They're just built-in best friends. Maybe not so much when you're younger. There's a lot of fighting that goes on, but as you get older, you just love it so much. I love being with my family. It's just my favorite thing. So I thought it would be fun to find a little questionnaire. It was kind of like, you know, answer these questions. They could be like icebreakers or whatever. So I found a bunch of them and I chose just a couple and I thought, oh, you know what? These will be fun to answer. And if you guys want to answer any of them, I would love that too. That would be so much fun if we all kind of shared and compared our answers. So I'll go ahead and answer a couple. So one would be describe your ideal day. <laughs> Well, as a mom, you'd know that your days are very different and sometimes very difficult and sometimes super easy. But I guess if I could have my ideal day, I would sleep in until about 7.45. <laughs> that would actually be really nice. I would wake up. I would have coffee right away. Everybody, diapers would be changed. Kids would be fed. I would watch the news for a little bit. We would get dressed, maybe go do a target run, go out for a girl's lunch. I would come home, my husband would come home. I'd go get a pedicure. I'd come home to a clean house and dinner made. And it'd be so easy doing the nighttime routine. <laughs> you know, kids would just cooperate through dinner and bedtime, it would be a blast. That would be my ideal day. But it would also be ideal if all of that happened and then my husband and I got to spend the evening together, go on a date or do something fun where we just weren't interrupted. I think that would be pretty great. Another ideal day, I know it said, what is your like one ideal day? But since I'm in charge, I can have as many ideal days as I want. So my other ideal day would be to just be with my family and just have so much fun just sitting around 
talking and laughing. I laugh so hard with my sisters. And I think that would be so much fun just to have all the family all together. That would be just the best. Okay, so the next question is, if you could go back in time for one day, which day would you go back for? And again, since I'm in charge, I'm gonna choose three different days. So the first day would be the day I got married because that was just the best day. I just loved everything about it. We had so much fun. There was so much love. There was so much just happiness and joy and family and friends. It was so great so that was the first day that'd be the first day that i would relive the next two days would be the days that both of my girls were born because i would just love to go back and just hold them when they were so tiny and they were just so itty bitty those would be my two favorite days i would go back and relive so i would love to know what your favorite days would be that you would go back and you would relive the day This tool was so pretty and so just beautiful, but it just, there was glitter everywhere falling off of this tool. So Kiki, this is your gift, and I'm so sorry that when you open it, glitter will be everywhere, but it was a really pretty bow. So I just don't know how much of it I'll use in the future because there was just glitter everywhere, all over the floors, all over the clothes. I vacuumed up a lot of it, but I'm sure I will be finding glitter for the next three months. Okay, so the next question is, if you could only watch one movie or television show for the rest of your life, what would it be? And since I'm in charge again, I'm gonna tell you the movie and shows I would watch. So the movie, if I could only watch one movie for the rest of my life, it would probably be Sleepless in Seattle. I love that movie, always have, always will. I love the soundtrack. I love Tom Hanks, I love Meg Ryan. So that's probably my favorite one. And as far as my shows go, I love Seinfeld. It's always been one of my favorite shows. Um, I feel like Seinfeld is like one of those comfort shows that you can just have on in the background all the time and never get tired of it. I would say The Office is up there with that. I like, so The Office, Seinfeld, and probably would be another like home renovating show probably something like fixer upper or um what is the other one i can't remember the name of it but it's the couple aaron napier napier i think and they're in uh, laurel mississippi i can't remember the name of the show it's gonna drive me crazy but i love their show too so i would probably be a fixer upper kind of show Seinfeld, The Office, and the movie would probably be, okay, you know what, I'm going to add a few more movies in there. Sleepless in Seattle, The Holiday, Love Actually, and I can't, oh, The Family Stone. 
all wonderful, great movies. Of course, three of them are like Christmas movies, but that's okay. They're all wonderful ones. So, but down below, and you know, you can comment as many times as you want down below. It does not matter. So go ahead and tell me your favorite shows or movies or if we have any of the same. So I think that's about it for as the fun facts go about me. I mean, there's a lot more about me, but that's what I'm going to share today. Um, but more importantly, I would love to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And I hope you get to enjoy this time with the people you love and your family and your friends or whoever brings you joy in your life that you get to spend it with them. On this holiday and I would also like to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy lives because I understand the value of time in the day because I know that there's not a lot of it not a lot of free time so you stopping and taking this moment to sit back and watch me it means so much and I appreciate it I appreciate all your support so thank you all so much and I look forward to putting out another video next week. This is the last of my Christmas videos. So again, I would like to say thank you so much and Merry Christmas. Bye.